Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, exercise number 10. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select a part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the right plane for the sketch and draw the center rectangle, 65 mm by 32 mm. Next, we draw a corner rectangle here, 15 mm by 8 mm, and trim unwanted entities. Next, we use a chamfer tool for this corner, according to dimensions. Next, extrude this profile up to 35 mm. Then, we select the top face of the solid object and draw this profile at this corner, and cut out from this solid object. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the right plane and click on the sketch. Drop down the rectangle options and select the center rectangle tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the center point of the rectangle. Move the cursor away. Put the 32 mm width of the rectangle and press enter. Put the 65 mm length of the rectangle and press enter. Once, drop down the rectangle options and select the corner rectangle. Select this corner point for the first point of the rectangle. Move the cursor in this direction. Put the 8 mm width of the rectangle and press enter. Put the value 15 mm length of the rectangle and press enter. Now we use the chamfer tool to make this shape. First distance is 15 mm. For the second distance, we need to calculate the value. 65 mm minus 42 mm. Then we got second distance. This is 23 mm. Drop down the Sketch Fillet option and select the Sketch Chamfer tool. Make sure we select a Distance Distance option. In this case, we need to uncheck Equal Distance options. We will get to enter two distance values here. Now just select this corner. It's chamfer with default values. Just double-click on this dimension and put the value 15 mm and press Enter. Once, double-click on this next dimension and put the value 65 minus 42 equals 23 millimeters, then press Enter. Click on Mark OK and end the command. We have to trim unwanted entities. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Trim Entities tool. Make sure we have selected Power Trim mode. Just drag your mouse, like this and trimmed unwanted entities or their edges. Click on Mark OK and end the command. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Switch the Extrude direction by clicking on this icon. Put the 35mm extrude value and click on Mark OK. See, our 2D sketch converted into 3D solid. For the next step, we select this face and select the sketch. We start sketch from this corner point. This is 25 mm, and for this side, we need to calculate the value. Go to the sketch tab and select the line tool. Select this corner point for the first point of the line. Draw a line on this edge and in this direction. Put the value 25 mm and press Enter. We select the next point of line on this edge. But do not select fixed points, such as the midpoint and end point of this edge. Approximate I select the next point here. For the close this profile, we select the start point of the sketch. Escape the command. Now, we need to fix one dimension for the complete this sketch. Notice here, we have 10 mm distance. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. 
Select his corner point and this edge. Place the dimension and put the value 10 millimeters and press enter. Go to the feature tab and select the extruded cut tool. Make sure here we set the blind option. For the depth unit, we need to calculate 32 minus 12. Then press enter. We deduct 12 millimeters from the total height of the object. Click on mark OK. Our sketch is cut out from this solid object. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Brass Material. And, I choose Cast Brass Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.